Hello everybody, it's here And today I'm just going to show you my first ever tutorial on Let's make Android game in Unity 3D What do you want to do first is go to Android developer.android.com and I'll provide the link in this description below as usual and download the SDK I have accept, I have read and agree yeah I have read it yes I have read it it say about something about this program now download the SDK now it is 400 MB I'm not going to download again now we, when you're done um, now let's delete that <laughs> um, you'll be uh, you'll be given something like this or maybe it's inside a zip now when you're done that what you want to do is just um, yeah I have moved everything so never mind nothing to see here so I have transferred already to my computer my disk drive program file Android SDK Windows now if you've done that your inside should be look like this similar to this now just click the SDK manager Andrea and download any I'm just going to download Android 4.4.2 not 4.3 because it still work make sure to install the SDK platform Android SDK tools everything was checked here make sure download, download it it's really important so make sure you rename the folder called Android SDK Windows it's very important or else Unity will not read it now next open your CMD type Java, JVS, Java C if it doesn't work then follow this step open your windows um, computer properties then advanced system settings environment variables open this folder open where you install your java or your J gdk or java deep moment kit now open the bin copy it and find um, path edit it after a semicolon just paste it there then you're done make sure you click save now when you're done if you open your CMD now if you open Java C it should show like this it should I guarantee to you now Now, after you open, after you, after you program file under SDK. Mm, now, in your platform tools, there should be this ADB, 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 this three ADB. Just copy it, Control C, go to your tools and paste it here. Yes, yes, yes. Copy and paste because unity will take everything from here now open your cmd cd um, to get directories and just copy over here c is it right slash or okay c program files android sdk windows tools then open adb if if this if if your command prompt open like this you are ready for your next step and if you're not rewind the video now when you're done what you do is open your phone don't connect it yet and just I'm going to input my password here now go to settings develop developer tool if you don't have that go to about phone and just press 10 times on your build number then you're then you're a developer then after uh, you are a developer open the developer tool and click the USB deb debugging equal to true or tick it yes now I just going to connect my phone I'm just going to connect my phone right here now okay I'm using Mobuji need to detect it <laughs> so yeah so it's connecting my phone right here 
because this auto update my driver I recommend that you to download mobile genie too okay connect successful now it's just my phone yes um, now go to your device manager um, no no this device manager there now over here you you what do you want to see is this Android tablet and you have this if you have this rewind the video again and follow step by step now let me just close that and now open your um, yeah you're dead open now your unity and let me just open project of my day more here that I've done here hey there we go now it should be like this make sure the build setting is on Android and just go to the player setting I'm um, just edit what you want but the most important is just this make sure you set up this this is the most important in making Android game this dot com dot com dot etc 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 now I'm just going I have 4.2 jelly bean but I'm just going to leave this on gingerbread so make sure this one is just set to default or something like that now go to your preferences um, external tools make sure that Android SDK location is where do you put your Android SDK that I place on C program files now if you're done for example I've done making this simple you know a game which I'm working on on my Android so save build control S and control B and wait for a while it's building now when this when you are at this compiling point or sending data to your phone and it says error can locate something like that please unplug your USB and plug it back that should work <laughs> like this now pushing new content now that's mean you are done now I'm just going to activate my webcam um, yeah after I finish this I'm going to show you right now not now they just finish until this building in the next tutorial I'm going to build an Android game I'm currently doing two videos a day now that's not too bad right so okay now I'm going to activate my webcam so I'll be right back so I guess um, everything is fully functional um, Everything is fully functional. You can see the screen is moving. I'm building my ID. Um, I can create new ID. Uh, so for you one, as you can see, everything is fully functional. And let's take this as a yes. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching.